Hello there, and welcome. My name is Mike Games, and again, I'm here to continue the little castle experiment that I've been running through. I say experiment, but I've been creating a map. Uh, the more I go through it, the more I like it, and I'll probably use it for my campaign. Uh, the other game masters in my current campaign will probably be uh, taking it. I have shown them a couple of teasers, and they like it so far. So... As you can obviously see, I've got a majority of it. I've removed all the items. We're doing the hall. We're going to keep in the same pattern I did the first floor. Top, then right, left. We kind of go back and forth. Do the right, left, then up, right, then left. But go ahead and get in the ground floor. I've got the other map here. I did the bottom. So I've noticed that there needs to be a slight change. And by that, I may need to keep it the walls, and this needs to be uniform across. Get the edge. Other than that, everything should be okay. Besides maybe some tuning. I believe... There we go. So... Now the question is, for the back area, keeping in mind that it's over the Grand Hall, you would probably not have a garrison or a military storage. I was going to put that on the uh, right side tower area because you do have the armory having stairs going up. Probably about this position. Uh, having a large armory location on this side. Uh, probably not so much on the other side. A little bit of ununiformity, uh, so to say, with it. Uh, maybe having the spare ballistas being stored in there. Uh, packed up pieces, this and that. But, uh, also, I've realized that sometimes these maps are not going to, considering they're open the edges, it's like they're closed off. So what you could do is, if you have a Roll20 map or if you have your own map, you could just keep it an open grid, keep it white if you have your own. Saying it's a grassland area, no trees protruding. Uh, none of the trees are actually tall enough to go up to these, probably quite a bit short. Uh, but you can just copy and paste, uh, or on Roll20's sake, you can just uh, place any type of grand, any type of plane uh, kind of map, put this on top of it, stretch it out as you need to, and uh, or have a moat, just have like a little water kind of thing, picture, do what you will with it. Because uh, otherwise they're not going to be able to climb up and have that siege kind of fight going on. I'll probably be doing that instead of just expanding and adding on and redoing everything. It'd probably be a little bit better for my sanity if I keep everything uniform. But probably would not have, in my opinion, if I were designing this castle. Uh, Game Master uh, kind of opinionated kind of thing. The Lord caring a bit about family security and peace of mind what they okay they, for sure there would be ballistas we could go ahead and probably do that yeah, have the not that uh here we go keeping to the traditional about right here yep that's centered probably wouldn't have keep it on the overtop Probably wouldn't have too many of them, truth be told. Uh, have it, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep, four off, four off. Probably shouldn't have a uh, super ton of them back here. But then again, it would be a security weakness to not have them. So at the very least, there will be a, so to say, entryway. I'll probably do it slightly different. Have it one, two, one, two, boop, boop. Having it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, having an odd placement. So we could probably have this closed off. Hmm. Maybe even have it wooden. Again, keep the wooden stature. The uh, up top wooden kind of framework wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, that works. Keeping with that kind of mindset. If I need anything else with that, then we'd be good to go. Now the question is, what am I going to do? I'll probably just fill this area out. Have it stone walls. Yeah, we don't need to go that far back. That seems pretty good. There will potentially be a permanent garrison location up here. Um, 
simply because the lord or lady or any kind of person who with any kind of strategic mindset uh, would have a garrison and potentially the furthest location. You would have a permanent location, uh, as well as scouts. So uh, we'd probably have a bit of a garrison area back here. Uh, again, keeping it the floor up, so we'd need those stairs. Uh, keeping with the traditional stairs of rock. Let's see, which ones did I use? I used these. There we go. Uh, yes. And then we can just have the edge paint be wooden all the way up. Giving a little bit of security. I like that. I like that little cubby hole there. Uh, go ahead and get the arrow. Arrow slits out of the way. Got it right here. I know exactly what size it needs to be. It needs to be just slightly larger. There we go. Have it one, two, three, four. A little uh, cubby area right there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, why would they not have more? Well, structural integrity, if all it would take is uh, one cannonball or one ballista bolt. One ballista would have a hard time going through a lot of wood. Uh, it's more of an anti-personnel kind of thing, more of a trying to set things on fire kind of thing. Catapult trebuchet. Cannonballs would definitely go through the wood easier this way, but it would also be easier to repair, maintain the stone, having to get the materials up here, lighter weight materials, all of that. So, keeping in the mindset that this is going up, they would probably have this be, again, traditionally, arrow. Have the buckets of arrows. Uh, have a one, two, three, one, two, three. How many did I have? I had four and four. So, maybe two with... To pertaining to the ends right there. That'd work out fairly well. Because they need to have the garrison post being similar, but not exactly the same. So having a bench to sit down, rest, and relax. Keeping with that. Hold on. Here we go. Because I knew that there'd be a... There's one there. That's not exactly what I'm looking for. Maybe it'd be in more furniture. There it is. More furniture. So pertaining to keeping things about the same. Have it there. There. I think I would like to have a stone room. Yeah, I like that. Cobblestone. No, stone. Going all the way across. Having that. So it needs to be up one. Nope, give me the stone. Uh, having a singular double entrance. Of course, that would probably be a bad thing if there'd be invading forces. It'd be easier for them to get out. I mean, maybe have two rooms. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Have a double series of rooms. Uh, single here, in between the two, a single here. Now, probably have this expanded out. We'll keep the, uh, other things going. Maybe one more. There we go. So I'd like to keep the edge. Going all the way across. Having uh, the... Like having a little cubbies for latrines, should they need to. Uh, having their own drainage. But keep in mind that this does go right down to the bottom area. So maybe they'd have servants and they'd have buckets. Uh, it could be as much as you will. Uh, we would need some doors. No, not that. Door. Uh, probably some steel pertaining doors. Denoting some security. Uh, it would not need to be placed over. There we go. Then flip it around for that uniformity kind of look. There we go. Now, do we want to have any uh, edging areas in here? Probably not. We probably have a large barracks area. Uh, probably a, a bigger, larger relaxation area. So you would need a circle. 
not magic circle. Uh, there, there's the playing circle. There you are. I uh, need to keep it so that way. Eh, not that large. Probably a smaller little circle area. Keeping it halfway. Let's see. Keeping it one over in the middle. One over in the middle. And considering this is the center. Could continue with that. Uh, this one pertaining to there. And to there. Little training areas. Uh, a little bit off center. I mean, that's fine. I could just fix that doing that. Doing that. There we go. Uh, larger garrison area. Uh, resting. Probably having a uh, dummies. A couple of dummies. A dummy with an eye. As you wish. Uh, in the uh, little corner area over here. Mm, having two and two. Gotta be careful about with the doors, however. Uh, now I need a bunk. Bunk beds. Pertaining to lining up this entire wall. Keeping it about 10 feet wide. Maybe not. A little bit smaller. That'd be, yeah, I think these are just fine. Having it going like that. Keep that model there. Bunk. Uh, ugly bunk bed. Keeping it. Try to keep it the same. Keeping a little bit of space. Ah, uh, here we go. Open. 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 Let's see here. Open. And then just fill it out with the rest. Ooh, that doesn't exactly fit, does it? What a shame. So, considering it doesn't exactly fit, is it because I offset something? No. Uh, that is the exact middle of the room, so that works out, actually. Uh, a couple of these don't have the top rocks, uh, bunks, the uh, cloth stuffed, the uh, hay stuffed, Mattresses that they use at the time period. Let's see. There ain't been anything else particularly. They would probably have a, a few tables. Uh, probably nothing too fancy in the corners. Did I do the corner? Yeah, I think I did the corner bit. Yeah, there we go. Keeping it a little bit elongated. Keeping it simple. Uh, having a nice large garrison in here. Uh, they would not allow a lot of decorations, personal touches, uh, being militia, garrison, knights, uh, however you want to do it. Knights would most likely have their own room somewhere. Uh, this being a smaller castle structure, uh, when I eventually do do the uh, nine total map sized one, I may not do a second floor for that one. Or if I do a second floor, it will be not, a, it would probably have three floors. So they would have their own higher, like they have their own storage and access to their own living quarters uh, especially no n higher ranking knights than knight captain having its own particular location for sure now would they have a table they'd have some tables wouldn't they they have a couple of tables and as i remember they'd have a few and it was just larger than that. I need a couple of... Yeah, hold on. There we go. This is about right. Having it there. Having it there. Uh, having a couple of ballistas, you know, just to uh, have the uh, reload going. Uh, bolt. Uh, facing away. Having them just longer. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Not exactly the uh, best in uniformity, but adding that little bit of structure to it. This would allow the uh, players, if you wish to have them do uh, micro 
uh, one of ballistas, like, uh, it got hit by a catapult, there's only one or two ballistas open, that'd be a really good idea, I may do that for my players, uh, have them running back and forth, requiring themselves to reload, uh, depending on their strength check, uh, they'd be able to carry one or only two, I'd say, uh, carrying one is a, uh, carrying one and running being the main point, you can carry one and walk, uh, but if you're having to try to go, considering this is a natural distance, one, two, three, four, five, six. So they want to do like a sprint to get there in time, maybe drop it or pass it off as a bonus action. You know, in fact, you have to pick it up first. Then it would require a little bit of effort. So you would need to run up, pick it up, item interaction, however the Game Master plays it. So uh, my campaign we're doing, considering picking up stuff, tends to be a little bit... A uh, waste of time. We're doing uh, part of your action. Like if you're choosing to do something. Like if you're using movement. Uh, you, as you're part of your movement. You can pick up something. As long as it's small. As, as long as it's not requiring a check. So if you're having to sprint. If you're trying to carry one. I'd say about 14. Do you see 14 sounds about right? Uh, st uh, dexterity. If you're trying to carry two. It turns into a strength check. Maybe acrobatics. Especially if you're trying to run through here. Go down the stairs. Then you would have uh athletics trying to carry a, a about more than two or something like that that would probably be a higher check maybe a 16 check trying to run through everything these things are fairly heavy they are a they pack a punch that's the safe way to say it so you can have them running back and forth to the blisters. You can just X out whichever ones that you want to say is destroyed. Uh, you can have some of the party fighting off uh, invaders. And they're trying to stop the ballistas from firing. Mages casting fire. A bolt up here trying to ignite things. Fireball. Flaming sphere. You got to be careful. Uh, it'll start setting fire to the interior over here. Causing you having to uh, fight the fire as well. Speaking of which, we're going to need some buckets. A lot of water. Uh, it's not here, so I guess I'll have to go to the traditional thing. Structures, vegetation, space, black and white, arches, awnings, bags, barrels, here we go. Uh, having them placed, had these larger than the other ones. So, do a lock. Uh, having a random rotation. And then get the other version of it. Uh, random rotation. There we go. Uh, maybe just have both of them over here. There we go. I didn't exactly mean for that to be uniform. It's a little bit off kilter, but that works. So they're having to fight the fire as well as they're having to reload the ballista. That would be a great skill challenge without saying skill challenge. You'd have to constantly fight out the fire. Uh, maybe you have to use spells on top of it. I'm really liking this now. I've got the ideas. I'm going to start using this, particularly. Uh, the backside of the castle's been under siege for a while. They're just trying to blow in the backside. Uh, or they're just having to just fight all over the place. Uh, have them go for any of the sides. Having to fight against the fires, because there's wooden structures going up here for easy to maintain. And the ballistas are going out, having them run over, having to reload and fire the ballistas using their skill checks. All of that stuff. If they're not trained in it, then you give them probably some disadvantage. You can think of giving disadvantage because they're not used to firing such mechanisms. Or you can have a soldier still being there, being the actual aim and fire. You assisting with the reloads while the rest of the party having to fight off people as they crawl up and over, having to fight the fire. Giving literally a ton of chaos. They can choose what to prioritize. They have to prioritize the people coming over because then the ballistas will start getting popped. Uh, then they'd have to prioritize the fire, because the fire spreads will start taking damage over time, start causing a little bit of panic, the soldiers will start dying, the ballistas will start, stop working, because the fires start popping. The, uh, main braces, structures and supports, uh, yeah, so it just caused a lot of chaos. So it, it would literally make people prioritize. Because the more people they're shooting out, the less people start coming up the walls. So you want to prioritize trying to get the bolts out. But the fire will prevent you from getting the bolts. And the people will prevent you from getting to the fire. So it turns into a giant circle of chaos. And I like that. I like that a lot. So, being quick, being about 20 minutes, I'm going to leave it there. I really... No, 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 no. This, this seems a little bit open. So we're going to need a pillar. Uh, some wooden pillars, yes. How big did I make these? I made them 
that big. So having one there, it being on the inside, having one there, and keeping it on the edge so that way I can go into it, keeping one there. Going to keep it the trifecta. What would we have at the ends here? Most likely not a lot. But would there be something else that we really would like to have back here? Maybe not. Probably. No, 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 no. We're good. We're good. I think it looks fine. You need a lot of open space, uh, particularly if uh, the fires start spreading out so you can draw the fires around here. Uh, maybe you have to move arrows back and forth as well. You have to get to the water buckets and start throwing that and use magic to put the water out. Giving the options. Uh, you can literally pick up the benches and throw them down, knock over the ladders. All sorts of options and details that you can do with this. So I know I will be. All right. So I'm going to have to leave it there. As I've already said earlier, I'm going to be good to go. So thank you for watching. If you have comments, you have ways I could probably improve this, go ahead. Place them down below. If you like it, give that thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. If you don't like it, thumbs down so I can at least know something's going wrong. And yeah, thank you for being with me. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.